Hello and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. I remind you that we release a new video three times a week. We can finally start drafting this mustard dress. I like it so much. This dress was made by Latvian designers. You know, last summer I had a linen dress. I wore it on vacations, met our subscribers in it, but I didn't take it seriously for drafting. But my subscribers saw that it has several design lines and ruffles, and I thought, oh, they can draft it by themselves. But my subscribers did not stop writing comments and asking about this dress. People were asking about this dress every time they had the chance. I decided to draft this dress for all of humanity to calm down. Let's look at this dress. The dress elements are the beautiful neckline. Look, it's such a beautiful neckline. There's such a gorgeous armhole line. It goes straight at first and then it's rounded. This seam on the center front has a double top stitch. There are some design lines which start from the armhole and narrow down to the center front of the garment. The length of the dress is one meter. It's one meter from this point to the bottom. I was making some notes for the measurements on the sketch. I've written down where the design line starts and the ruffle. The ruffle is very light. Let's take a look at the back. Here is a zipper. I'm not going to unzip it, it is just for decoration, to see this white fabric. It's beautiful. Here is the seam, the design line and the light ruffle. Now look here, the dress is a little longer by 4 to 5 centimeters on the back. As for the ruffle, it's the same everywhere. This design line lowers here about 4 centimeters. Everything is finished with the facings. They are top stitched. Do you see? The neckline is finished in the same way in the back. All of these lines. Finally, I'm going to start drafting this dress. Look at the sketch. This is the front part of the dress. The neckline, I measured it on myself. It goes deeper about 4 centimeters and opens about 5 centimeters. But I did not write down the length of the shoulder. The recommended length of the shoulder is 8 centimeters. And I'm writing here. 8 centimeters. In the center, where the design lines come closer, the distance is 35 centimeters. This means that it will be 17 centimeters on each side. Here is 17 centimeters, and there is 17 centimeters. Like this. The back part. Here is the white zipper, the seam, the lower design line, and the ruffle. Everything is stitched on the sewing machine. It's a simple dress to make. And it's a very comfortable dress for the summer. You could wear it with a three-quarter sleeve t-shirt, with shoes or sneakers, put some light jacket on top if the weather cools down. It will be very nice. Let's continue with the dress. I think that you could wear it in the summer and in the fall with layers for a different look. It's a very versatile dress. Both variants are good. First of all, I'm cutting out the front and the back parts. Next, I will place them on the tracing paper and start drafting. Let's try to remove the bust dart. This mustard-colored, loose-fitted dress does not have a dart. That is why we will have one more lesson about removing darts. Look at the table. This is the basic pattern. This is the side seam, which I have in the base. I taped some more paper here to make it a little bit wider. There is an ease of 7 to 9 centimeters on the hips. 
This means between 14 to 18 centimeters altogether. The ease is from 7 to 9 centimeters, which means 4 centimeters on each side. If I take 8 centimeters of ease on one side, it will mean that I've got 4 centimeters here. Take 7 to 9 centimeters right here. And from the other side is 4 centimeters for the ease. Next, we will move part of the dart to the bottom. That is why I taped those papers here, in case I need some more width here. I shouldn't cut out in the first place, but I realized that it was too late. I had to make it wider this way. My base ends on that red line. It would look like this. But I'm making it wider a little bit. I do not need a lot of ease here on top. I need it more on the hips. Now, where will we start? Let's start with this style line. There are 35 centimeters on the bottom of the dress. As I said, the length of the dress is 1 meter. I'm making a mark. It's 17.5 centimeters. It does not matter if it's 17.5 or 16. I'm making the mark. The distance is 17.5 centimeters. Look here, on this line. This is the center front. The seam. While I'm drafting, I should remember that here's the seam in the center front. It's not a fold. So, I've explained to you everything I've done. From this point, I draw the lightly slanted line to the waistline. Our task now is to draw this style line. It goes to the waistline. Later, I will outline it with a colored pencil. And from this point, round it up to the armhole. As you can see, this seam is far from the bust dart. It will give us some problems by dart removing. I draw the style line. Mark 55 centimeters from the shoulder. The parallel to the bottom design line will start here. Here, do you see it? We do not need any waist starts. We will not be using them. I'm making the armhole deeper by about 2 centimeters. If you want to wear it as a sundress, you can make it even deeper. I make the armholes deeper by 2 centimeters. I've drawn it. Now I want to work with the shoulder. I take 5 centimeters off from the beginning of the shoulder. The width of the shoulder is 8 centimeters. Do not cut out the dart. I'm drawing the neckline on the back. The line is straight and perpendicular to the center back. Look, I'm making it straight and then rounding it to the shoulder. What a beautiful line. Look at my beautiful line. Don't open it here a lot. It will show too much skin. Look, this line goes up from here. The length of the shoulder is 8 centimeters. And all of this I will be cutting off. Because of the bust start, I cannot work with the shoulder. So far, I haven't cut off anything. Just draw. The bus start. Here it is. Good. 
Let's work with it. This is my bus start. Well, it's quite big. If I close it here and open it there, the dart opening will become smaller. But it's still too big for our purposes. I suggest to divide it and pivot one half here and the other half there. 13 centimeters. Look at what I did just now. I measured this distance here. Look. To help you understand better, the same dart width will have to be on the same level, like this. It is not obligatory, but I do like it like this now. Four or 3.5 centimeters. Well, more or less this way. Do you see it? What else will I do? I'll also slash the armhole. When people ask me how to remove the dart, what can I say? There are a lot of different methods, and we remove them differently each time. You have to get the feeling for it. Here is my bus dart. Nothing has changed. If I add together these three dart openings, it becomes my bus dart. We can make those three darts up to this point. This will also be all right. That is why I open about 1.5 centimeters in the armhole. No more. Just to make it a little bit loose. And I will tape it now. After we cut off all the excess, I will open here 10 to 12 millimeters. And I divide the rest of the dart into two halves. One half goes to the side seam, and the other half goes to the shoulder. That is how I've divided the dart. Now I'm going to tape it all. I will trace it and repeat everything once again, because this is an important lesson that we have. Last summer, I've showed how to remove the dart when I was making a bright linen jacket. I was repeating constantly then to pay attention, because nobody else will teach you this. It's a very complex method to manipulate the darts. I'm going to draw it once again so that you can better understand where my dart went. And you will understand what to do. These kinds of loose dresses are good without darts. Darts look bad on loose fitted dresses, moving all around. It's not good at all. I'm taking the red marker and drawing. Why did it take less here, to not create a big gap in the armhole?
Look how our bus start transformed. Like this. One part went here, the other there. And the little one here. I'm showing it to make it as clear as possible for you. So, a little part goes here. Our bus start is divided like that. What do we have? The seam in this style line is increased by this piece. If we fold the waistline with the waistline, this point should match with this point. We have extra here because of the dart. Remember, we wanted to make this part deeper. I'm making one more checkpoint. This point lowered here. When we cut the armholes, the waistline will match and those lines will match too. So, the part of the dart went into the style line. I will cut what I've opened here. This is another part of the dart. This is our part of the dart. Look, and do not forget, that is why it gives such a good fit. This side fits along the bust very good, because the dart is here. And now what? Let's cut our back. For this, we will place the beginning of the front shoulder with the beginning of the back shoulder. Look here, where our shoulders start. That is the beginning of the shoulder, and there is the end of the shoulder. The distance from the center front has to be the same as the distance from the center back. These distances have to always be equal. Otherwise, it will just not fit properly. Let's mark it. Here's the point from the beginning of the shoulder. It is 8 centimeters here. And I have found the second point too. That's all. And now we know the beginning and the end of the shoulder. Cut out the back part, the armhole and the neckline. You know, this dress isn't as simple as it looks. It's important to learn the drafting to make clothes correctly. But that doesn't mean you can't try to make something without it. This is the back part. Now the front center is 6 centimeters deep. I've measured that it's 6 centimeters. So, I need to draw the beautiful armhole on the front bodice. Ignore the extras that we have added for the width, for now. This line goes straight. And then it's rounded. The line has to be beautiful. Now 
This is our armhole. Place the waistline next to the waistline. This is the bottom of the armhole. It's our dart. If I close the dart, it will look like this. When I see that line, I want to remove 4 millimeters to make a circle here. I made the armhole deeper by 2 centimeters and then the base and opened it here by this piece. The other parts we drafted didn't change the armhole. This is the armhole. It's beautiful. These are our shoulders. The beginning of the shoulder has the same distance from the center front as the beginning of the shoulder from the center back. That's all the same. We've checked. That's all. We finished our work with the armhole and the bus start. We did a good job. Now we can rest a little bit. So, from the waistline down, we have 8.5 centimeters, 8.5, 8.5. So, I'm drawing it. And in the back, my design's line is straight. I'm lowering it on the back about 4 centimeters, like that. What do we get? My center front is one piece. There are no design lines here. The center front and the seam is all ready. Now, Cross out the top line Our design line will be the bottom one. Look how I'm finding this line. I have just measured the dress from the top shoulder down. I've got 55 centimeters from the top of the shoulder to this design line. This is a good distance. Here we will make a pocket. I put the violet mark for the pocket. The pocket opening is 16 centimeters. It's 6 centimeters up and down from the design line. Here it is. No, 16 is too much. I'll take 15 centimeters. You can choose where you want to make your pocket. This is our pocket opening. I draw here the small seam allowances. I'm marking our pocket on the pattern. The center front is here. Now, I want to make it wider on the hips, about 4 centimeters. No, let's make it 3.5. This is the waistline. There are the hips. And this is the hip line. I'm making our garment wider by 4 centimeters on the hip line. Here, I make it wider by 4 centimeters. I extend by 1.5 centimeters under the armpit. You can always change something during the fitting. For example, take it in. That's what makes it so wide. That's why it's wider here on the side. It's designed this way. I laid it out and checked. The width is added, not on the center front, but on the sides. It's good. We made it wider, we have everything. We have made a beautiful dart.
Perfect. Learn and remember what we did. I'm cutting this out here. Write down the center back, the seam, I made a mistake here because it's hot in the studio. I thought, why is everybody begging me for this dress? Oh, okay, it's easy, a piece of cake. But see, not as easy as it seems, really. Check the lines on the pattern always, instead of finding mistakes later. When you make a dress, put it on, and something doesn't match. It's not right. I control the lines all the time. The dress is almost done. There's just one last thing left, to slash and spread these parts for the gather. The gather will be little, it's not wide on the bottom. But if you want a fuller gather, that will be good as well. I will cut the front into four pieces. Lay it out on the tracing paper and make one whole part. You could spread it a little more, creating a fuller gather. This dress really wasn't as simple as I had imagined. I thought, oh, it's easy, my subscribers can draft it by themselves. But you see, I had to sweat over this drafting. And we have a horrible heat. It's July, so it's very hot in Krasnodar. But we are all still working, nothing can stop us. Pay attention here once more. This is the seam in the center front. You will make the pockets on this level. After you join these seams and make the pockets, you will stitch this seam. We have a small dart here. Next. I've marked the side seams. Do it the same way. Where you add these pieces, put a point for the side seam. The side seam should be here, like this. Here we have an extra piece, about 12 centimeters. This piece will gather here. And here will be our ruffle, right here. This point will connect with that point. And this point will connect with that point. There is no back seam here on the ruffle, but we have the checkpoint. Here it is. Make a checkpoint for yourself too. It's here. Next. This part was shoulder here because I made it longer there. That is why I added 4 centimeters on the bottom. The back part is longer than the front by 4 centimeters. And my dress is too. Some might make it straight, some will cut it and divide the ruffle evenly, and then you won't have to do anything. Just cut the rectangle and that's it. Whatever you've calculated. All of this will gather on the back. 23 Here's 23 centimeters. Here's the fold on the center back. 
and here's the seam on the center back. All extra goes to the ruffle. This part is for the ruffle, and this as well. Our dress is ready. Sorry for such a long video. I was surprised myself. I thought it would be much faster. But no. That's why we've learned a lot today. Of course, we could have made another video about the dart manipulation, but I think we will return to this subject, and you can already put it in practice now. By the way, later you will be sewing from Jersey. This information will be useful. It's not just for this dress. In general, it's about manipulating the dart. Look at what we've got. A part of the dart went here, and the rest we divided into three parts. We slightly opened the armhole, opened to the side, to the shoulder, and cut out all the excess. We finished our drafting. Of course, I will not sew the dress. I've just showed you how to work with the pattern. It's time to say goodbye. Click the like button, share our videos on social media, subscribe to our channel, and write comments and buy our courses. Thank you for watching. All the best from Paukste Irina Mihailovna and the rest of our team.